In the future, Fuchun Shide is the new era when the heavenly deities will emerge. When the era of Hongik begins, the heavenly deities will appear. So you must not die without knowing it. When you have completed all your reincarnations and living your last life on earth, you will become Mahayana Buddha, the great Buddha. And because you will become the heavenly deity, you should know that you are Hongik Ingans who must benefit many people. Everything that happened in the past was study material for us to study. This is the history that passed down to us. We follow the teachings due to how the history was passed down to us, but now it's time to review and reorganize comprehensively. Whether you believe this or not, the history must be reorganized. Who should do it? The elite intellectual should do it. We are enlightened intellectuals, new intellectuals. We are overcoming the 5,000 years of history and are equipped with new knowledge. These people are enlightened intellectuals. These people are called the new intellectuals. We need the history of these people. You will create this history. No one has achieved this up to now. We have seen, absorbed, and studied. You examine these things given the environment. You have not done 0.1 millimeter of your duty. History begins now. Depending on what work we create commensurate with our energy level, it will amaze the world each time they are released to the world. This will be the work presented by new intellectuals. All cultures in the world will change. It will begin now. Even if there is doubt, those who have a will and desire to receive the right teaching will meet Changbob. Those who do not yet need Changbob will set it aside a little, but that's okay. Everyone doesn't need to study Changbob, but people who seek answers now will discover Changbob first. Among these people, People with willingness will step into society. When projects created by new intellectuals shine, whoever sees the light will come and gather. These are the projects that will bloom based on the truth. An era in which all cultures in society are blooming anew. An era created by the new intellectuals. An age when spiritual truth also blooms anew. Such time begins now. This is the emergence of Hongik Ingans in this world. We call these people Mahayana Buddhas. Theravada Buddhists are those who are preparing now to be born in the next life. Sanchen Shide, or pre-2013, was the time of Theravada Buddhists. In Fuchen Shide, or post-2013, people living their last incarnation as humans are born as Hongik Ingans. When Hongik Ingans grow up and start benefiting people far and wide, they are the same as Mahayana Buddhists. They don't live for themselves. They will live a life that benefits people widely by giving their all. These people are called Mahayana Buddhists. Buddha can appear in any era, but Theravada is different from Mahayana. Mahayana Buddhist is a person who benefits people widely by devoting themselves. Theravada Buddhist is a person who is preparing themselves to come back in their next life. We have gone through countless reincarnations in order to receive our next life. The last life means that you have to prepare yourself now and benefit people with all your heart because you have no next life. That is Mahayana Buddha. They are Hongik Ingans when we express in Korean. When you say it in Indian or Chinese, they are called Mahayana Buddhists. 
Certain spiritual schools called them Jeongdoryeong. Each sect calls them differently. There is a sect that calls Manse Dejangun. Some Taoists call them the Great Jade Emperor. All of the denominations call them differently, but they are all same. Hongik Ingans and Mahayana Buddhists. When all of them appear in the world in Huchun Shide, this period is called the human centered era, the era in which people lead the world. The era of clinging to the gods is over, and the era of direct management by people begins. These are Hongikingans. The era of growing up by depending on God is over. Hongikingans emerge as mentors of the world and sisungs of the world and lead all people with hope. The times are changing. The new era had already started in 2013, and it is called Huchun Shide. We are now living in Hongik world. Hongik Ingans are still sleeping because they don't know what Hongik world is. Hongik Ingans will come out and start leading the world from now on. Since the work has not come out yet, you only hear about it. But something will begin to come out within three years. You will begin to realize it when you see the product. There is a difference between when we just talk about it and when we actually see the masterpiece. The work will be produced. Society will usher in a brilliant era in which Hongik Ingan's work will be seen in a new light. The world will turn its attention to this beacon. They will solve all the problems the world cannot solve. This is the emergence of Hongik Ingan's. You can understand it this way.